Yo neighbors, Baldy Locks Reviews. So on Monday, we just had the surprise name drop of Doc, the leak of Chuckles, and then the reveal of the final tier for the HasLab uh, Night Force Crazy Legs. And then not even two days later, Walmart leaks or reveals for CollectorCon. They have three Walmart exclusives, Night Force Shooter, a Crimson Alley Viper, and finally we get to see the Mole Rats. Let's get into it. All right, neighbors, so uh, just a busy week. Like I said, we got the leaked Chuckles, we got the name drop for Doc, we got Crazy Legs revealed for the Dragonfly, and now we have another three figures that were just announced today from Walmart. Next week is Walmart Collector Con. They have their own exclusives. So whether they meant to reveal them today or not, we've got a reveal for number 90 Shooter. Now she comes in as Night Force. Night Force is now the new Walmart exclusive. Who is Shooter? I talked about her in another video. Um, she is technically, if you guys remember, the original A Real American Hero, original 13. She is considered the 14th member. So if you look at this panel from G.I. Joe number one, there's a name there that's covered that's Shooter. It was kind of an Easter egg for then editor-in-chief Jim Shooter. Years later, they go back and they retconned it and they worked it in that there was a secret sniper. This is how classified G.I. Joe is. There was a sniper that the team was not even aware of. She had their back on a mission and I believe in that story, she may have been killed. I'm not sure if they went back and they changed that again, but that's who Shooter is. Now, if you look at the artwork here, she is another sniper, kind of like Lowlight. She bears a resemblance to Rihanna in Battleship, which is also a Hasbro property. So I don't know if that's intentional or what, but she did appear in a comic book where again, they went back, it ties in with the original story, the first issue of G.I. Joe, and they show what she was doing in the background. This is a really deep cut character. I think it's really cool that they're kind of bringing us characters like Glenda, Shooter. Hopefully they give us some more of this. Then another reveal today was the Crimson Alley Viper. So this is again, part of the Crimson Strike team that's coming. It's a Crimson version of the Alley Viper. Now, I have no problem admitting that I was never a fan of the Alley Viper. Now, this version is very cool. I was just never a fan of the color scheme the bright orange, the blue. The Alley Viper would be like uh, the riot police for Cobra or crowd control. They're sent in to break up riots. So think of it as like they would be the crowd control for Springfield, not the Simpsons. Anyway, something to note for the Alley Viper here. It does mention on the bio that uh, they're called in to break up like some unruly mole rats. If you look at the visor, in the picture, they have a biohazard logo on the visor. So I'm assuming that they're called in because of the outbreak that is now about to happen. We all know zombie vipers are coming. And here we've got our first look at the mole rats. What I thought was interesting is if you go on Walmart's website, you will see information for shooter, like kind of a backstory. You see a backstory for the Crimson Alley Vipers, but you don't see one for Mole Rats. So maybe they're holding on to some story detail. I'm not really sure. But in one interesting picture they have here, you see that one Mole Rat is confronting an infected Mole Rat. Now, what are they infected with? If you look at all the packaging for the Night Force figures, this new line coming up from Walmart, you'll see dark Energon crystals there. They're tying in again to Transformers. They even mention it at the beginning of the Dragonfly campaign. There's this little excerpt here from Destro talking about how they were going to use dark Energon as a source, but it contaminated the Alley Vipers, and now they're going to a traditional source. So Dark Energon in the Transformers universe can reanimate life, uh, make them kind of go into Berserker rage. Here's a little bit of info right here. But this is an Easter egg or they are setting up something else with Transformers coming into the classified line. It's not just going to be the O-rings. And the reason I brought out my Zartan is I have a small Megatron that is scaled perfectly with G.I. Joe's. This transformed small blaster version of Megatron comes with Shockwave, part of the Red series. 
Anyway, it's a cool little accessory that works well with your G.I. Joe Classified. There's no Energon in there. They are starting to bring these two worlds together. There's a comic book launching, I think, later this year or next year. What do you think about them bringing Transformers into the Classified line? I like it if it's a little subtle, like a small piece like this. I don't know if you want to do any type of Classified scale Transformers, per se. But even Chuckles has a little Transformer with him, or at least a nod to a Transformer. I said earlier, it's a version of Soundwave called Sound Blaster. He's the little black version of Soundwave. But anyway, what do you guys think of these three figures? Are you going to attempt to pick them up? Walmart is always very hard to get a hold of. It does go in and out of stock. I will link all three figures below. They go live on 718, but double check on the Walmart site to make sure I got the date right. But I will link them in the description below. Just be ready sometime next week. Good luck. Let me know if you get them. Let me know your thoughts on the deep cut character of Shooter. Do we really need more Crimson? And I do kind of like these mole rats, and I guess they're going to lead into whatever this zombie viper is that's coming up. Hopefully there's no more to reveals. I'm not sure that my wallet or your wallet or anybody's wallet can handle it. Let's get through this HasLab. Uh, I think we're going to unlock Glenda by the weekend, and then it ends early next week. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Take care.